what's going on everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is tay and welcome to tay budgets <laughs> In today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, I will be introducing something new to my channel. I mean, I just started budgeting, but I had to make this because, you know, to help others out. And I see a lot of these going on and I was like, I would like to have one of my own. So I decided to make this from scratch. All of these are from my head. They, there are about two challenges that are known but i made it my own so we're just gonna get right into this video i will not be showing you guys everything in this book but i will be linking it down below so you guys can go ahead and shop um so if you guys don't know what this is this is my saving challenges book it has 11 challenges in there that you can complete over the course of a year or two okay probably the angle changed but i'm trying my best to um record this i have not been on camera in a minute i'm so sorry guys school is just doing a lot and i had to take a lot of exams and everything so i'm just really trying and i'm also filming this the day before my birthday drop in the comment section down below wish me a happy birthday i'll be posting this on wednesday march 9th which is my birthday hopefully hopefully i won't be promising but hopefully but like i was saying before i'm going to be showing you guys a few challenges that i feature in this book here there's a glare i constructed this myself i i picked everything this is like my first edition and i just want to see how it goes so this is the front page nice cardstock paper very pre this is premium quality paper um there is also a blank page you can write your notes um on there or like just write your name belongs to whatever whatever and there's also one in the back of the book as well that you guys can use for your notes then when you come when you open the book let me start over when you open the book on the other side of the clear blank page I have my social stay connected with Tay Budget and then I have my YouTube channel and I also have my Instagram. Then um, I just put a message to you guys, whomever is buying it. It's a personal message to you and um, just showing appreciation and writing you a letter from my heart and it just basically explains, explains what the book is about and everything, okay? So I'm kind of nervous because I was like waiting for so long. I, I, I finished this book in January and I was just waiting so long because I was like, oh my God, what if nobody buys it? But then I got a few buys and I said, you know what, let me just put it on YouTube so you guys can um, see what, what's going on. Okay, but I don't want to show you guys all the challenges because what would be the purpose of you guys buying the book um all these challenges are low income friendly because i am low income myself so i decided to just do low income um challenges that everybody can complete it's not just low income um high higher paying income individuals lower paying income middle class whatever you whatever you associate yourself with i decided to just make a versatile challenges book challenge it that's that's a hard word to say challenging book yeah so the first challenge i'll be showing you guys is first of all let me show you let me read you guys the instructions and just give you guys a full breakdown of this challenge so the instructions read as follows i'll probably put it on screen or something have you ever looked in your purse or wallet and seen just the bottom of the purse or wallet so you resort to the plastic, your debit card, or credit card. The Fill Your Pocketbook Challenge allows you to rely more on cash and less on swiping. Every week, pick a random number from the board and color it in. At the end of this challenge, you will be able to fill it, fill your pocketbook or wallet and put your card away. There is also a tracker to track your savings as you go. Which, Whichever number you choose for that week, Put it into the tracker so track your pocket right here i try to include like a little activity that you guys can do um to track it i didn't want to be like everyone else you know with the whole track challenge track challenge i want to be like versatile like i said again this is my first book there will be more but you know 
this is a start right so right here it's like a tr it's a tracker that you can track the numbers as you go so you don't have to just let me show you guys a challenge you don't have to go in order like like so you can just pick a random number well it, it, uh, it depends on you if you want to go in order you can if you want to go all over the place random just pick a number as you go you can at the end you will be able to accumulate two thousand dollars and you can also do it two at one so you can track it here and you can also color it in on here it is honestly your choice that's basically it this is just a challenge to help you guys use your debit card use your credit card less and use cash more because with a debit card credit card you just don't know where the money is going and then for the credit card you you spend it and you just forget that you spent it on that you gotta pay it's just too much it's just honestly too much okay next challenge i'm going to show you guys is oh it's right next to this one this challenge is kind of confusing but it is fun if you really look at it i i think this is like the more difficult challenge question mark probably but let me just read it to you guys all right so this challenge helps you create strategies and also save in the 12 week maze your job is to not only save but to collect 84 dollar bills until you reach the end goal of 1008 dollars i don't know if you guys can see but there's a plot twist to this challenge there are also $48 bills, but if you choose the wrong path and run into a $48 bill, you must go back to the beginning of the maze and start over. Sucks, right? Well, not really. You will be able to also save more money at the end. Put on your most comfortable stationary sneakers and find your way through the maze. The amount of time it takes to reach the end is up to you. Now, let me show you guys the maze. So this is the maze. I don't know if you guys can see. All right, I tried my best, okay? <laughs> so this is the 12 week maze. It's called 12 week capture 48, capture 84. <laughs> 12 week maze capture 84. So let me, let me explain it to you guys, just in case if anybody buys this book and has difficulty understanding this challenge, I'm gonna explain to you right here, right now. Okay, so you start here and you're not going to just do the entire thing because you're not going to have one thousand and eight dollars then what would be the point of doing this savings challenge you would take a highlighter marker whatever you want to do and circle circle 84 you got 84 dollars today you took 84 dollars from the bank you got paid today circle 84 you go oh got another 84 circle 84 that's that's week number two there's no tracker for this but uh this is week two then you keep going week three week four and then you're on week five now you end up running into 48 you would have to go back to the beginning and start all over again now if you i mean this is a no-brainer savings challenge it's up to you if you want to start all over again if you hit 48 because you because some people think they're big and bad and they just want to and they hit a 48 and then boom you know what i mean so it is up to you if you want to just go right through and just do 84 dollars 84 dollars 84 dollars but if you want to start if you hit a 48 you got to just start from the beginning yeah try your best to get all the 84s if you can question mark so i mean this this challenge is kind of a no-brainer like a preschooler can do it but you know it's just up to you to get to a thousand eight but if you want to accumulate more just start from the beginning again i'll be showing you guys oh, one or two more challenges i'm not sure yet this is a 50 dollar challenge very easy this challenge is a self-explanatory and extremely easy save 50 dollars each week or bi-weekly and save up to 600 dollars this is a bonus. This is a bonus if you are up to the challenge. To challenge your saving skills, you can add an extra 50 each week. So instead of $50 each week slash by week, it would be $100. Double your saving. So the time span is 12 weeks. If you do it weekly and bi-weekly, it's 24 weeks. And right here, like I said, I would like to include like little activities in some of the challenges. So here I am doing the 12-week grant challenge because Set a goal, have a goal. So this is it, 
12 week 12 week grant challenge I called it the grant challenge because $50 president grant is on the $50 bill like I said you can challenge yourself that's why I left it blank so at the end you can total total your total whatever whatever so probably one week you want to do 100 probably the other week you want to do 50 so at the end you just put your total at the bottom here there are other challenges in this challenge book but I will not be showing all of it to you guys because that's for you guys to find out well if you made it to this point that means you guys made it to the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching this book will be on my Etsy I will link my Etsy down below in my description box make sure you guys go check it out but thank you guys so much for watching I don't have a quote for you guys today just be safe be well and the sky is the limit bye